Let us look at the cloud data security risks now. So there are certain security risks in case if the security uh, measures are not taken properly. So the first is accidental exposure. So by mistake, uh, certain data might get exposed. So uh, for example, uh, some organizations employ might uh, share some document or uh, grant access to uh, another employee who doesn't need those permissions or sometimes uh, some valuable data might be uh, mishandled so, or due to negligence, some data might get shared. So that results in security breach and it can be handled by employee training Data loss prevention technology can be improved. Access controls can be checked. The next is phishing. So uh, phishing is basically a technique where the individuals uh, are manipulated to provide some private information or access to certain privileged accounts. So it's a kind of a social engineering attack. Uh, we think that the message is from the authentic source but the message is actually from an attacker and when we click on it or when we uh, give our information it gives access to the attackers to our personal data the third kind of attacks could be insider threats so in insider threats it is from employees who either unknowingly or knowingly threaten the security of an organization data there are three types of insider attack threats first one is non-malicious insider now, um, non-malicious insider accidentally harm the security. The, sec the um, second one is malicious insider. Now, malicious insider are people who actively attempt to steal the data. Okay, they are doing everything knowingly. And the last one is compromised insider. Now, in this, the user uh, itself is not aware that his account is being used by an external attacker. So he becomes a compromised user. Few more could be ransomware. Ransomware uh, is a software which can infect corporate devices and, uh, and it can encrypt the data. And then a message on the screen might appear that the data is encrypted. Please pay so and so amount to get to know the key. So this is ransomware. The ne next kind of attack could be data loss in the cloud. So, because there is a lot of data that moves around the cloud, uh, it, there is a chance to for data loss. So now, people might access, uh, people might share files with unauthorized people and so that can also lead to data loss. And the next one is SQL injection. Now, whenever we want to access data, we do it using SQL queries. So in case if I change the data uh, in such a way that the minor change will retrieve not in just one record but retrieving several records then in that case it's a security breach so that is sql injection i mo i modify the sql query so that it does not show me only the data uh, only the required data but it shows me a lot more or it can do some harm to the uh, existing data so that is sql injection basically we modify the sql query so that there is some uh, retrieval of the data or modification of the data or deletion of the data all this would be sql injection thank you